Hi, welcome back to uh, traffic video series. This is the second video in the series. In this one, I'm going to cover the example uh, two scenario. So, uh, according to, the, to this uh, document which I have here, the diagrams, we have already covered this scenario. So let's go and talk about a new scenario. Uh, and this scenario says that all of the containers are actually on the same domain. So there are no different domains now. Everything is on example.com. And I also have removed Apache because uh, it's just uh, unnecessary uh, container. I just want to have two, three containers uh, for simplicity's sake. And uh, the purpose of this example is that I'm going to set up HTTPS later on. So I'm going to enable port 443 as well on, uh, on traffic and on my host and map it correctly and this is the DNS I have and it's set up in my etc host file all right so let's start first of all I'm going to stop my current stack in e under example one Let's go to example two. And I have uh, a Docker Compose file for you here. Traffic Alpine with this con this host, which is example.com. It has port 443. It has Nginx. It has uh, Tomcat. And it has MySQL very good so what does the traffic tomal file looks like that is still the same um, we have uh, we also have one a new item here which is a user but I'm going to show it to you later and we have uh, two entry points and the other one is not being dealt in this example so I'm going to just uh, comment this out and just use one for now and then as we go along we will uh, e enable the other one as well okay so uh, these were the only files here docker compose traffic there is an ind example index uh, in index.html file and there is a sample.var which is used by Tomcat. Let's bring up this stack docker compose uh, up minus t. Very good. Let's oh come on. Docker uh, compose ps. I have four services running. Hmm. Did I have an extra label in my... Con no, sorry. I was just checking something. Alright, so I go back to... I close this one. I open uh, an incognito mode. New, ta new, new uh, Chrome uh, instance. Uh, and why did I open it? It's only because I want to verify uh, using the dashboard, traffic dashboard, that how things are looking now. So let's uh, go there. Let's go to traffic.example.com. And why is it asking me this username and password? should not ask me for this username and password because I have it disabled hold on uh, let me stop the stack because I think I know what the problem is the 
The problem is that in my traffic.toml file, uh, if I, I have this auth.basic enabled, but I don't have any username and passwords, that was disabled. So even if I would provide anything, even if a valid one, it will not recognize it because that was disabled here. So now I've disabled the complete auth section and I, I want to show it to you a bit later, but first let's start this stack again. Very good. Let's go back to traffic.example.com, press enter and it shows you the dashboard without any authentication. So it works. Everything should be working as usual. All the front ends and back ends are correctly set up. I will just check briefly check nginx.example.com. It is working. Press F5. If I do Tomcat, that is also working. Traffic itself is working. We check traffic.example.com. So we are good to go. And now comes the point where I want to enable authentication. So you see everyone who has access to this URL can view everything about your stack or your setup. So how to do that? Uh, what you need to do is you need to stop the stack first and modify a traffic.toml file. and enable this special directive which is entry points dashboard auth.basic and I have a user named admin and I have some password for it which is secret but how did I generate that I'll come to it in a moment let me just bring this up first It works. We oh wait. Docker PS. I have four containers. I go back to the dashboard this time. Um, I type in the username and password. Admin and password is secret. I hope. Yes, it works. So all of this works, and of course these continue to work. Now we have to see how do we create this password ourselves. And by the way, there's another way. <laughs> there's another way of uh, passing the username password uh, to traffic. And that is through the labels. And I think I have it somewhere. I'll show it to you in a moment if I remember. Let's first see how to. Um, how to have our own password here how to generate this so within the double quotes here I have this username and password combination uh, the utility used to create this password is simply HT password which comes with Apache HT password utility if you don't have it you can find many online HT password generators you go to any one of them and just type in any password uh, username let's say I type in username Kamran and I type some password uh, super and I click this generate HT password file it gives me this thing right so there are HT, uh, HT password generators on the internet you just copy and paste that but on Linux command line I have the command my, uh, available to myself I'll do HT password minus help and I do HT password minus N and minus B for uh, this B crypt which is supposed to be very secure and I can increase the security by making it more secure but it will be slower to calculate I can go all the way up to 31 but the default value is 5 so I'll, I'll just leave that value there minus n minus b and I provide the name of user I want to create password for 
let's say admin let's type in the password uh, secret again secret and it has generated me a username and password right so I copy this and I go back to my terminal and I just paste it here like so that's it save and exit and I have to stop my stack because I've modified the uh, configuration docker compose remove minus F very good and I just bring it up again hmm you see Uh, docker ps I have four containers running let's go to the browser I'll start a new instance control shift n and I do traffic dot example.com it asks me for a password if I don't provide it, it gives me this error I retry it admin seek Red and it works very good so if we look at the topics we uh, we have here uh, we have covered labels to set up front ends we have dashboard protection with password there's another way to do the uh, dashboard protection using labels and without modifying uh, the traffic config file I have to search for that. Let's see. And grep admin. It should be somewhere. Yeah, here. Yeah. This is something. This is an example one advanced file. So I can actually pass this as label in my docker compose file and it will still work right so let's do that let's see if it works and there is a caveat as well uh, where was I example 2 docker compose stop docker compose remove minus f very good and I have this label I will just copy it I will modify traffic dot and I will say I don't know if this will actually work I mean I'm not confident here it should work uh, docker compose I, I got it working once so let's add this label here auth basic users admin and this is the admin password now there the, the problem is that you can't just copy and paste the the password here the problem comes with the dollar signs uh, the dollar sign is considered a environment variable so anything after dollar sign is considered environment variables which traffic will complain about that it couldn't find it so you have to escape every dollar with another dollar sign to make it work so now what we have done is we have just added one label here and this could actually be an environment this could be stored in an environment variable that's a that's a separate topic but let's save and exit remember we have commented out the authentication in traffic.toml file so let's try to bring it up and see if it works docker ps I have four services that's promising very good and I could do logs on example traffic example 2 traffic 1 it doesn't show me any uh, authentication things but let's see set it up on follow-up mode go to the browser and there it is 
and just if you want to be sure I'm going to close it and I'm going to start a new incognito terminal and say traffic.example.com press enter and it asks me the password and the password was admin and I don't remember if, if it was secret or if it was just simple yes it was the password though the password was simple and it works so the the idea is that you can generate the HD password here like this when you copy and paste it in docker compose and pass it as a label you change all these single dollar signs to double dollar signs and that's it all right so we have well, let's go back to example two we have uh, set up uh, example two as per the diagram and we have uh, everything in place to move forward and do the HTTPS thing now like this this is the explanation I have for you HTTPS we have the setup we just need to enable the uh, enable the uh, enable uh, traffic to use certificates and first I'm going to use self signed certificates let's uh, clean up this this part docker compose stop docker compose remove minus f very good so we go to example 3 and we continue in the next video so in this video we covered uh, authentication and in the next video we will cover um, HTTPS with self-signed certificates.